guys, what's going on? It's your good buddy LRC Crawl25 here, like always, guys. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, uh, I wanted to do this video before I actually did the official run video of my new scale RC trailer here, but it didn't happen, <laughs> okay? Uh, I couldn't pass up that day. You know, the weather was nice, and uh, you know, the sun was out, the sky was blue, got some clouds, you know, it was nice and warm, you know, it wasn't freezing, so I was like, yeah, you know, this is a good time to do the video. You know, and uh, so I did it, and I was like, you know, I could wait and do this video first and put it out, and then put the run video out, but I got too excited, guys. So I wanted to go ahead and just put the run video out, and then I go ahead and just put this video out. So, um, yeah. But uh, I wanted to do the video, talk about the trailer a little bit, what I done with it, because the last time it was featured here on the channel, it was uh, straight bare metal, because I just got it in. Uh, my good buddy Tony there... Uh, actually made the trailer. He made all the framing and stuff like that, which he did an awesome job. And then uh, me and my father came in. We kind of tweaked the trailer a little bit, add this you know beautiful little uh, wooden sides on it, and also on the bottom. And I had a couple few scale accessory items to kind of bring it out a little bit more. Uh, so yeah. So again, thank you, uh, Tony. And I'd like to say thank you to my dad as well because he's the one who helped me and cutting all this stuff out because I kind of, you know, I kind of skipped shop class when I was in high school, guys. So, uh, I don't know how to really cut wood and stuff like that. So, with the help of my father, he's like, oh, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to cut this, you got to measure twice, cut once, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? So, um, but yeah, so here's the trailer, all right, and uh, with my RC track loader on it, of course, as you guys saw in the film, if you have not seen it, uh, definitely, uh, I all right, that was my cell phone. Rude. That's very rude to contact somebody while they're doing a video. But you know what? I'm going on with this video. The show must go on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, I lost my train of thought, what I was thinking about. Okay, so... Uh, you know, guys, I lost my train of thought. Had it going good until the phone rung. <sighs> okay. All right. So let me try to do this again, <laughs> okay, guys, all right? Okay, so, well, you know what? I keep losing my train of thought. Can't get it back. <laughs> That's all right, guys, okay. All right, time to be serious. <laughs> all right. Okay, so with the trailer, guys, you know, uh, Tony there did an awesome job on it, and uh, I called him up, and I said, hey, man, do you mind if I tweak it a little bit? And he said, hey, man, do what you want. It's your trailer. I said, all right, man. I'm gonna still put your name out there. Uh, I did. I did tell you guys last in the last video about the uh, about the trailer, and see if he does custom RC trailers. He does. If you guys want to get up with him, I got his uh, YouTube username down there. Uh, you guys can get in contact with him to uh, see about making a trailer for maybe your your uh, your your RC vehicles, boats, or whatever. So definitely get out with him, guys. He does an awesome job. All right, so. Um, yeah, but he did all the, the framework and all that. Beautiful job, like I said. And then, uh, with the help of my dad, we came up with this neat little design here for it. Now, I wanted to have like a multi-purpose trailer where I can carry all my different types of RC vehicles because I have a lot of different uh, RC vehicles in different sizes. I have uh, one tenth scale, I got 12 scales, and I got 16 scales. So I want to have something where I can carry everything. And then also... Now I'll only haul just my RC vehicles, but haul like dirt and stuff like that as well. You know, so like in the uh, previous video I did with the track loader and the trailer, I hauled dirt inside the trailer. So something like that. Uh, so me, like I said, me and my dad came up with this design. We put uh, wooden panels around the sides and the front. And we also put a wooden uh, floor in, which I'll show you guys. I'll take this track loader off here. So here... Pretty nice, guys. You know, wooden panel. Uh, it's very kind of like a thin type of wood, not really thick. And uh, I uh, painted the trailer in a semi-gloss black. So, you know, not shiny black, not dull black, but kind of in the middle. So, yeah. Um, also, with what we did with the trailer as well, is that it's been mounted with some L brackets. Now, I can remove these... Uh, these panels right here if I ever decide that I need to do it all right um, so 
whenever I need to do it, I can do it. All right. <laughs> uh, so, but I also added a couple Scala featured items. I'll probably bring the camera in so you guys can see it. The lighting in my room is very poor. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, very nice. Uh, I'll show you guys underneath here. Yeah, let me get under the light here. It's all painted. Uh, if you guys have been watching my channel uh, before, you probably you guys know where these uh, <laughs> where these wheels has came from. Okay. All right. I suck at making videos. All right. I, well, suck at making you know, these videos, but it's all good. Uh, <laughs> All right, guys. You know I never usually mess up this much, but you know what? No one's perfect, right? All right. Yeah, no one's perfect. But these tires, I had to actually uh, take them off of my. Uh, let's see where it is. Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. My HPI Desert Truck. Only wheels I had with rims on it. <laughs> okay. So I had to use them off there, and uh, these are 1.9 inch wheels. All right. So I'll let you guys know that. Uh, so yeah, I had to use those off of my uh, desert truck there. All right, and let's see a couple more scale items on the front, guys. A little tire, a little storage uh, box right there. Uh, so yeah, all right. So there you go. A little hook right there, or the tongue part for the trailer. And so yeah. But uh, turned out really nice, guys. I really am pleased with the trailer, how well it turned out. I'm very happy with it. Also, I didn't show you guys this part right here, which I might have to bring the camera in for that as well. But I put a little scale figure inside of it, which I'll bring this into light so you guys can see it. Uh, just to give it more scale appearance, a little, uh, little action figure to it. I picked up at Toys R Us there. Let me put this back in there. And let me grab the camera off the tripod. Excuse me if I shake you around a little bit. All right, so here it is. So in the daylight or sunlight or in the light, of course. All right, so here it is, guys. Wood panels inside of it. There's those L brackets over here I talked to you guys about. Got some scale stuff right here, you know, nothing fancy. Got the Proline fake winch and uh, a couple little tools. And got my little scale guy up in there. Let's see if you see him there, he is. Yeah. So he's in there. Had to do a little modifications to get him in there, but he is in there. Alright, so that is the trailer, guys. I'll show you underneath here. All coated in black. Looking good. Looking sexy, I think. Alright. So yeah, now the next question is, how did I mount it? That's the question. So, how did I mount the trailer, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys how I mounted the trailer. All right, let me grab this, grab my crawler. All right, ah, uh, the beast. Okay, so underneath here, guys, now I'll actually pull the body off. You guys can see I got a little screw and a nut here. Pretty simple, easy to design. Didn't have to make any custom trailer hitch or anything like that, you know. Creativity is what makes it all good, guys, you know. You gotta have creativity when you're in RCing. But uh, let me show you here, guys. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this piece is called, but it came in my little parts bag of that uh, that came with my SEX-10 when I bought it. So I'm not exactly sure what it is, but instead of being this way, it's supposed to be flipped over. Now, I don't know what it's exactly for. If you guys know, give me a comment down there in the box. Uh, <laughs> comment down below and let me, uh, let me know what this little piece is called, all right? But anyway, back to uh, how I mount it. So what I did is I flipped it over. I had to shave it a little bit to fit it in there and uh, screwed it down with the previous holes. And then I just take this little hex uh, screw right here and a nut and just uh, pretty much put the trailer up in here. Well, like this, I'll show you. Put the trailer up in there, the tongue of it up in there. And then take my nut and just screw it on there. And this way I can adjust it to whatever height I need. 
Uh, either, either I want to do it all the way up or give it down low, whatever I decide to do. So that's just a neat idea right there. Just, you know, something to create a building, you know. Got to think uh, creative, right? So, uh, but yeah, you know. So uh, let me put the trailer back up here for you guys. It's heavy. All right, so there it goes, guys. So uh, that's with the uh, my uh, Hummer body inside of it. So definitely can fit all my RC vehicles in this uh, in this trailer and more at, uh, as well too. So so yeah. So uh, again, I want to say uh, thank you to my uh, my dad for helping me out, and I want to say thank you to my good buddy Tony there for making this awesome trailer. Let me put this back, the camera back on the tripod so I can see you guys. Excuse me if I shake you around. Get on there. Don't fight with me. Get on there. Oh, hey, hey. All right. It fought with me. But I won. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, guys, that's it. That's all I have to show you guys. Until next time, I will see you. Later.